Oh, there goes three right there, guys. Let's go three. Hold on. Now, I'm telling you that right there, that's fitting. You hear me? Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Trying to get the old truck loaded up this afternoon. Headed out to the ranch first thing in the morning. Gonna do some bow hunting. Still looking for that old begging. Have not found him yet, but I'm still looking. And then after I'm done uh, doing some bow hunting, I gotta do some clearing on one of my rifle stand areas that I hunt. Rifle season's right around the corner. I still got some tidying up to do. Y'all not gonna see none of that, I promise you. But I guarantee you one thing, it ain't all play and no work. I guarantee it. I wish it was, but it ain't. So I'm going to be working right on through lunch. And that means when I get home tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to be hungry. So if I don't get something with the bow in the morning, I'm bringing the old gamo, y'all. <laughs> Small game season's in. We're going to be taking us a squirrel, a rabbit, whatever we can find. But we're going to bring home some supper, y'all. And you get to see it right here. So hang on. All right, it looks like the deer activity in here is done. Had two come in first thing this morning and fed it the feeder and boom, next thing you know, they bolted. That just means I gotta find supper for the night, y'all, and there's plenty of it running around in these trees right here. And I'm about to take care of some of them. All right, guys, so we're going to head on back up to the truck, get the bow put away. I got the rifle right here, too. Get all my other gear put away in the truck. We're going to come up here and sit by the truck. There's a lot of oak trees up here, and there's usually quite a few squirrels hanging around them. Well, there was a couple of squirrels hanging out in that tree right there. You've seen a shot at one earlier. I still had my bow in my hand. I had everything, so all I could do was just hold the cell phone, and uh, couldn't get a good couldn't get a good shot at him. I missed him. God, it looks like we got two squirrels right over here. We're gonna see if we can't get on them. Now we just gotta go get him. I don't think I've got a real vital good shot on him, but he's definitely hit, so he ain't going nowhere. Oh, there he is on the ground right there. That's number two, baby. Number two. I hit him good. I just didn't get to finish him off right there. I didn't get a good clean head shot on him. He's hanging up right up here. So I got to see if I can't get him the rest of the way down. Oh, there he is, there he is. Come on, baby, where you at? Oh, there you are, there you are. Hold on. Woo, baby. 
it was Yale. Yes, sir. Ooh. Two for two, baby. Well, I'm two squirrels for two squirrels. So there they both are right there, guys. Two fine squirrels. They're going to eat just fine. The old Gamo Viper Whisper. Got to do a little bow hunting this morning. It slowed down. So you know what? I got to have supper for tonight. So the small game season's in. Squirrels are on the menu, baby. Let's go. All right, guys, so I got these two beautiful squirrels right here ready to clean up. Now, I'm not going to show you the cleaning part itself because YouTube's just getting to where um, they just really don't appreciate that no more. And I enjoy making videos for you guys to watch. So, uh, in other words, I don't want to be pissing YouTube off. All right, y'all, there's the final product right there. And, I mean, that joker right there is thick. Beautiful meat on both of them. Get out of there, fly. And, uh... Man, they're going to make a delicious meal between the both of them. So. All right, guys, back at the house. Finished doing some trimming out there at the ranch. Got the deer stand almost ready to go. Still got a little more to do, but, hey, I wanted to get home and get these squirrels cooked up. I'm telling you right now, I'm hungry. I think the crock pot is probably one of the best ways to do them. Uh, my friend Don Fountain, he's got a heck of a recipe for the crock pot with these squirrels. Pressure cooker, whatever, different ways. Here's what I'm going to do with mine. I'm going to take these. I'm going to put them in this pot right here. I'm going to add, I don't know, probably not quite half full of water. I'm going to bring this up to a boil. I'm going to throw these squirrels in here whole. The way I clean them, just regular old whole. I'm going to put a little salt in there. I'm going to let them boil. Not a hard, hard boil, but just a nice little boil. Probably about a half hour. That's just going to help tenderize that meat up a lot more. All right, y'all. Them squirrels have finished boiling up. Boil up nicely, good and tender. Got the old black skillet right here, y'all. I'm about to go in. Cook down these uh, onions with real quick. Pretty windy out here today. Beautiful day, but windy. All right, now we can make that gravy. Look, if you make your own gravy, that's great. If you want to use the store-bought packet brand, that's fine too. Just make sure you buy enough to where you can, you know, submerge or cover those squirrels, you know, pretty good. You want to have lots of gravy. I like lots of gravy, especially on them biscuits. All right, y'all, look, those squirrels already falling in half after boiling. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut them in half. I'm going to lightly dust them with some flour right here. I made a mess already. I'm just going to brown them up. We're going to put everything in the big pot, cover it up with that gravy. We're going to cook it down. And we're going to eat. I had to move everything inside. It got too windy out here. Even though it don't look like it's such a beautiful day. And I made a mess with the flowers. All right, guys. Moment of truth. We're done. Ready to play. I want y'all to take a look at these groceries right here. Oh, boy. Look at that. Tell me that don't look good now. Mmm, 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 mmm. Went ahead and cooked up some old biscuits. That's just some old Grand's biscuits. Hey, they make great biscuits, so I don't have a problem with them. Coming here with some of these squirrel. Which one do we want? I think they all delicious, so it don't matter. Just pick one. Ooh, look at that, that thing drooping right there, son. That's tender. We're gonna go right over the top of that and hit it with some of that gravy. Now, I'm telling you that right there, that's fitting. You hear me? Look at that, just bone just pulled right out with the fork so now we're just gonna go on and taste that a little bit look at that one the front legs right there that's tender mm. that makes you fall right off those bones you know squirrels they just constantly running around the trees that's all they do so them legs are constantly getting the workout that can be some tough meat but if you do it just right Man, you can make that stuff good and tender, and it is absolutely delicious. And with that gravy, oh, man. That's where them biscuits come in handy right there, y'all. Mmm. I mean, they just everything's just complimented right there on one plate. Now, the only thing with squirrels, you're going to have a lot of bones, you know, especially if you're eating the whole squirrel. If you're just taking the back legs or the little front legs, you're going to be fine. All right, guys, I had to shift it over to the side of the house real quick. We just had a freaking rainstorm dropping on us right here. I got rain coming in. It's been windy. It's been a challenge cooking these squirrels today, but it's been well worth it. Hey, if you ain't never tried no squirrels, you ever get the opportunity, hey, don't pass it up. You won't be disappointed. I don't think you'll be disappointed. If you grew up eating squirrels and hunting like this, hey, give me a big thumbs up. 
or just give me a big thumbs up in general if you enjoyed the video if you want to see more videos like this let me know down below so i'm gonna wrap this thing up before i get soaking wet i appreciate each and every one of you hanging out here with me today i enjoyed it until next time y'all take care and we'll see you